Ready, set, heart. Summer Beach. So we've already done the first two sketchbook assignments to get ready for your final exam, which is a magazine cover representing what you want to do this summer. I stuck to travel themes mostly because during the attendance question, most students said they would rather travel this summer. For the final exam, if you want to do a gaming magazine cover or Sports Illustrated, that's perfectly fine. But for the sketchbook assignments, I do need you to practice these scenes. So we already did lemonade, s'mores, a camping, two camping scenes, and now the beach. So the first one is relaxing at the beach. And then the second part is actually doing something uh, in the water, which would be surfing. Okay, so let's get that started. The first one is this scene here where we have a person sitting a little sand castle, some people near the shoreline, some people with surfboards up here, water, some clouds, and some boats. So let's get that going. Okay. All right. If it makes it easier, I'll draw kind of big. All right. So the first thing I want to do is kind of put in my horizon line. This is where the beach part is. I'm drawing darker than I normally would. Okay. All right. So shoreline, water. I'm going to go ahead and put in this. And I stop here. Now, I could put a parallel line right here, but that wouldn't make sense. As it gets further, like closer to the shoreline, it's going to widen here. And it's going to be shorter there. All right. And then I want to go ahead and bring down couple of those okay. and I'm doing quick sketch versions I'm gonna put these X's in makes it strong uh, stronger pier let's add in our rail okay. All right. and a few lines here and then some of these now I'm just putting guidelines in. You have your attached as this piece and you can see all the details after I go clean up. I'm really just showing proportion wise what to do. Right. Next, I'm going to put in the chair. So let's put that right there. I'm going to angle. I want to compare to my drawing. That always helps, right? Looks like it's right here below that shoreline. So it goes about this far. I'm going to put in some lines here, indicate where those boards are, part of that chair. Whoops, missed a spot. Happens. Keeping it together. All right. Angle this in. You see, I'm all about angles. I like, it helps me to figure it out. Okay, so then I'm going to put, go in with the arm here into the shoulders and bring that down. The angle of the neck is about yay so. And then because this is more like a side profile, I'm just going to bring the jaw here. Hope you can see that. It's a little dark, I know. And then heads are big, right? Holds our big brains. And then see, I draw the back part right there. Okay. And then from here, if I go halfway down, that's where the eyes are. From here to here, halfway down. That's where the nose. From here to here, halfway down is the mouth, right? So half, so half, 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 half. So now from there, I can kind of, I go from the forehead here. I indent when I get to the halfway mark because of the eyes. And then the, the nose kind of tips out there. And the bottom part of the nose is where the next half is. And then I bring this here. And the bottom lip lands here. Bring this part down there, and then I create a chin. Okay. All right, here's my eye. That chin. And I gave this person a hat because I wear a hat at the beach. I do. I do. Okay. Here's my ear. Okay. I'm going to create the hat like this. 
so in class I was saying, hey, you got to make sure I'm going to have hair coming out this part, but I also want a hairline here. Right? In class I said, everything you see in the drawing, you got to draw. Now, if you want to draw yours as a guy here with a hat, that's fine. That's something you could modify, but subject matter wise, you know, I just don't want you deleting things out, right? So anyways, now let's go to the legs. There's a big knee right there. There's another knee over here. Kind of widens out here because that's how the leg is. And then we bring this part of the leg down. Okay, and maybe she's wearing shorts. All right, so that helped to figure out the body placement. I'm going to go ahead and put in my sand castle, which is almost like a cube. See this? It's a cube. So I start with this cube shape. There's parallel lines here. And from there, I can start shaping like a cylinder shape here, just making sure the curves are the same all the way down. Right? Kind of like when we learned cups. Whatever curve is here, same curve here, same curve here. Then over this way and then if I because of the angles here I'm going to angle here and I know this top part is here right. now you would do the same here but what I like to do is I'm going to go ahead you know how it is it goes like this right all right see that and you would do that all the way around now it kind of cubes here so you kind of add the, the rest of those shapes in. I do add a seashell for the front, right? I added summer 2020 here, but when I didn't do it straight on because if you look at the angles here, that means the angles of the letters need to be the same angle as here. You know how people write in the sand, right? Not summered, summer, right? Okay, so again, I'm angling it because this is angled. All right, so then you would finish all of those details there. I'm going to add some people here toward the shoreline. And we're eight heads tall. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, that's about it. And then halfway is where the legs are. There's our shoulders. There are some diagrams online to help figure this part out. And I'm putting in stick figures, I know that right now, but it helps me to shape later. The key is for legs, okay, you kind of measure that where the hips are is the halfway point, and then you compare to the top half and it should be equal. And hands are not up here. They're if you were to stand up right now and you know have your arms straight, you would notice that your hands land halfway between the knee and the hip and that's where your hands are all right so I have two people here from here you can shape how you want I have a little girl with a bucket and then um, brother with a support okay now I'm going to add little water lines here and there right we're almost done with this one I can't believe it from there I'm going to add someone's shoulders right here a head right here a little arm coming up and a support. Yay, let's try another one. Okay, so here's another person, kind of a head, arms coming up to grab the surfboard, and then the board. Okay, so we got that. We're gonna have a uh, further back, way further back, we're gonna have some boats, and I'm just making it like they don't really have sails, but we're gonna put a few boats in. Some are smaller. Some are way off of the distance, right? Then some clouds. You can see I'm sketching super quick because, as you know, it only holds so much data inside the Google Classroom. So I get it to the point where proportionally it looks good, and then I lightly erase and I clean everything up. Next is surfing. The hard part is figuring out this, I'll put, and the wave is not so hard. Okay, so get rid of that. Okay, so first things first, let's get your wave in, right? And then this cascading white part, right? There's a few lines here 
I'll just put in as that as a guide. And then a few more of the cloudy shapes of that water. All right. So now I have the wave. I'm going to just put in the surfboard because I need a place to, for the feet to go. So I angle my pencil, and it's really close to right there by the edge of that wave. So then I put in that shape. See that? Okay, next is the angle of this bar. I'm going to show you the stick figure version. So I'm going to start with the axis line. This is your axis line where the spine is. Okay, and then shoulders. So I angle from shoulder to shoulder, and I compare. Then the head, and look, the chin, you don't see the neck. So the chin is lower. See that? That's where the head actually is. And I just put in, for now, marks for where the face is, right? Halfway down is the eyes, halfway down from there is the nose. And halfway down is the mouth. Okay, so now I have this part. Now I can kind of shape our torso. There that is. The shoulder is about right here. And if so, if I angle from head to shoulder, it's about right here. And then from head to shoulder here, there that is. And then I'm going to go ahead, the hip looks, it's from the side, so it looks like this. I'm going to angle from hip to knee. And then I'm going to put a little circle there for the knee. Same for the other one. And then look, this one comes forward, right? Now, be careful not making these legs long enough. This actually is the correct length right now. Most common mistake is students not doing the correct length for the legs. Okay, so check that out. Now, how do I make sure that I just did that correctly? I'm going to, for length, I'm going to go from head to toe, hold that angle, and compare it to my drawing. <gasps> it's a match. Okay, so from there, I can kind of start shaping. See, there's that part of the body. You can see the elbow is really low, because our arms are actually way bigger than you would think, and way longer. Okay, and then you can see the fist is right there. This one is foreshortened. That means because it's set back, it's further away, and therefore it's going to appear shorter. So look, there's that elbow. It's right here. And then the arm is kind of set back. Just like that. See that? All right. So now we have the basic shape in, and from there you could do the hair how you want. I know I did it like that, but if you want long hair, great, or, you know, you can figure that part out. And then I did a wetsuit for the top part, board shorts for the bottom part. Now, if you're thinking, gosh, do I have to do all that shading? My answer is yes. I want you to get used to the shading. What I did is I kind of sectioned off like this, but I, I did these sections curving with the wave, with the wave, okay? And then I just shaded it in, okay? Just like what you see here. I shaded it all in, so, and then fear was like just a fade. I started dark and faded it. Thank you and good luck.